Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Triple murder in New Lincoln, near Crossroads. Three men were killed in a drive-by shooting at a cook shop in an area known as New Lincoln close to Crossroads in the corporate area. Reporters understand that the murders took place sometime after 7 p.m. yesterday. Police detectives were on the scene. Teenage girl charged for chef's murder. A 17-year-old girl has been charged with the murder of 32-year-old chef Sido Chambers on September 15 in Sandy Bay, Hanover. The teenager has also been charged with illegal possession of firearm and larceny of motor vehicle. The Jamaica Constabulary Force Corporate Communications Unit, CCU, says about 10 p.m. on September 15, the teenager had a dispute with the chef, during which he allegedly shot him. It is alleged that she stole his Toyota Mark X motor car and fled the scene. CCU says investigations led to the teen's arrest in Kingston, and she was charged on October 20, after she gave a caution statement in the presence of her attorney. She is scheduled to appear in the Hanover Family Court on November 1. Association of Christian Communicators and Media Joint School for Retention of School Devotions following bizarre incident at Oberlin High. The Association of Christian Communicators and Media has joined the call for retention of devotional exercises in the nation's schools. The Jamaica Teachers Association made a similar appeal on October 27 after the Education Ministry announced that it had launched an investigation to help determine the protocols for school devotional exercises. The Ministry's announcement follows what has been described as a bizarre incident where several students of Oberlin High in St. Andrew fated during the school's devotion on Wednesday. In responding to the Ministry's announcement, Chairman of the ACCM Council of Spokesperson, Rev. Basil Hansen, noted the importance of devotion. He asserted that the role of the church as a moral and spiritual guide, godly presence and peacekeeper must not be dismantled, diminished or dismissed. We have seen in other um, jurisdictions where they have removed God and they have removed prayer and we are seeing the results of what they are reaping. If you replace um, God and prayer, you have to replace it with something. You cannot replace something and not put some, um, remove something and not replace it with something. So if you remove God and the Bible and devotion, then what are you going to replace it with? Maybe guns and, and all kinds of other things that, you know, are causing so much pain in our nation at this time. So we, we are in support. The ACCM um, is in support of, of, of prayer in school, and we want it to be structured, and we are calling on our churches to be more involved in our schools all across the nation at this time. John Rollins' success primary hit by bizarre incidents before and after devotion. Several students and at least one teacher at the John Rollins' success primary school in St. James went under treatment following a bizarre incident before and after the school's general devotion exercise yesterday morning. It started with the teacher fainting and vomiting, and we had some students doing the same thing. For the teacher, it started before general devotion for the students. It was after devotion explained school's principal, Ivan Miller Wisdom. Miller Wisdom told reporters that the cause of the incident has not been determined. However, she said the school's management has been receiving advice from the local health authorities on how to handle the situation. The nearby Barneton Clinic does not have any nurse or enough resource personnel to send down here, so they ask us to send a teacher out there to collect some rehydration fluid so that we can give to those who are affected. We have communicated with the parents and they have collected some of those students already, she added. It is understood that contact has been made with the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and the St. James Public Health Department in relation to the incident. Yesterday's event took place two days after a similar bizarre incident at the Oberlin High School in St. Andrew, where several students fainted or fell in an apparent trance during the school's devotional exercise on Wednesday. Man charged for stealing items from Clarendon Basic School. A man who was among a group of persons who broke into a school and stole items in Four Pass Clarendon has been charged with schoolhouse breaking and larceny. He is Alex Grandison, otherwise called Hogman. The Maypen police say 
the basic school was broken into and several items stolen on October 19. Community members went in search of the items and saw two men standing near to a motor car. The police said the man ran upon seeing the group. The vehicle was searched and the stolen items allegedly found inside. Shortly after, Grandison allegedly showed up with petrol from the vehicle and he was attacked by a group before being handed over to the police. He was charged on Tuesday. Man gets 10 years for a stabbing death of St. Catherine senior citizen. A St. Catherine man who said the voices in his head caused him to stab an elderly woman to death in her home was yesterday sentenced to 10 years in prison. Sentencing was handed down in the St. Catherine Circuit Court by Justice Bertram Morrison. Devon Kelly, 33, was initially charged with murder, but he pleaded guilty to manslaughter. 67-year-old Evan Hamilton was found dead with multiple stab wounds at her home in Glens District in Caymanas Bay, St. Catherine, in June 2020. Facts of the case were that Kelly, who is also from Glens District, broke into Hamilton's house and used a knife to stab her repeatedly. He also killed the dogs in her yard before fleeing. An investigation was conducted by the Central Village Police, which resulted in Kelly being arrested and later charged. Jamaicans should expect increased rainfall by Monday, says Met Service. The Meteorological Service of Jamaica Met Service says an air of disturbed weather over the Eastern Caribbean is being monitored closely as it moves westward during the weekend. In a tweet, the Met Service warned that the system has potential for development and says Jamaican should expect increased rainfall by the start of next week. Reduction in fire-related deaths The Jamaica Fire Brigade has reported a decrease in the number of fire-related deaths between January and September in comparison to the corresponding period in 2021. Addressing a recent Jamaica Information Service think tank, the Brigade's Commissioner, Stuart Beckford, reported that the number of deaths decreased by approximately 48% when compared to last year. While we can be comfortable by the fact that there have been a significant reduction in fire-related deaths this year, we should all work to get that number down to zero, he stated. Beckford noted that discarded lit cigarettes, suspected arson, act of nature, careless use of fire, explosions, spontaneous ignitions, and electrical short circuits were common among the sources of fire that the fire department has seen. There are cases where persons may be smoking and they may discard the cigarette while it is still lit. We have seen 247 instances of that and those who would have resulted in fires occurring to the same location he pointed out. The commissioner added that there is also a decrease in the number of cases relating to the carelessness of the use of fire. This could very well involve you, but we have seen speaking specifically to our farmers about slash and burn and thankfully we have been seeing a reduction in this category he said reporting on the 91 cases of suspected arson over the period beckford said that the fire brigade will continue to work with the police to investigate these cases some of which have been circulating in the news in recent times beckford informed that the fire brigade has responded to 40 cases of fire caused by acts of nature 14 explosions 34 spontaneous fires, 264 cases of fire caused by electrical short circuit. He expressed that there is a deep concern for fires caused by electrical short circuits as some of the fires in this category are due to inappropriate connections to Jamaica Public Service power lines. The commissioner implored persons, especially those in the inner city communities, to get their electricity regularized so as to reduce the likelihood of a fire occurring. We are all responsible for our safety so I encourage you to practice good fire safety principles, whether it's at home or work, he added. Please remember to subscribe, like,